Oh, nice. Hood sarsaparilla. Wow. Apothecaries. Very cool bottle. Got a pretty common, but it's still fun to find. Stay tuned. We'll go try and find some more. Got a little toothbrush. Even has some of the paint on it. Sometimes they say names on them, but we'll clean it up at the wrap up. Still finding some stuff. Let's keep going. You got something else down in the hole? Doll's head. Kind of cool, but still creepy. I always think they're creepy when we find them. We'll, see, we'll clean her off in the wrap up. Got a little more thing showing. You can see the neck of it. So these roots are in the way. OD Chemco, New York. Let's see, is it tooled? It is. It's not machined. Cool. Never dug this one. Nice. Stay tuned. Caving in the side of this, and this fell out. Little pumpkin seed flask. Too bad it doesn't say anything on it, but it's still pretty cool to. Find. I found a few. It's a smaller size. They come in quite a few different sizes. Um, but let's see if we can find anything else. I've got half this pit done. I dug out the other end of it. It was a lot wider than it really was. So we'll keep going. All right, we got another one in the hole. What she's gonna be? Another mayor, Hammond, Indiana. Gotta love it. Super common, but it's not easy to dig hutches. I don't care where you're at. At least around here, Illinois, Indiana, it's not easy. So even if it is common, I, I still enjoy it. So let's keep going. All right, number four. Um, let's see what you are. I already know. Wow. C.H. Mayor Hammond, Indiana. Got one more showing. I'm gonna go with, let's see, I don't know, wood. Oh, Scott's emulsion. They say some, some say with cod liver on there, cod liver oil. Yeah, let's see what this side says. With lime soda. Very cool. Well, a cool bottle. We'll get it all cleaned up. Well, guys, here's the uh, total haul for the day. There's some other broken stuff I didn't include, but we'll clean this up. I think we got one, two, three, four, five, six Hutchinson bottles. A few different uh, quack meds condiments even a creepy doll head a lot of broken fragments ironstone china i'd say probably this is a classic 1890s pit so 
really cool to get all the hutchies out of it even though i got <laughs> that guy variation <laughs> about five times over but hey i'll take it thanks for watching check stay tuned for the clean out chicago bottle digger today another privy um so here's the first find that's actually worth recording um we're in about a i don't know five footer so right in the alley line like the others luckily this one has not been dug so we'll give it a shot i'll show you what we've just found well we got something else showing looks like a pipe like a opium pipe maybe i'm wrong i don't know We'll see. It says something on it. Well, this is a first. This corner is really producing. Let's see what this one is. Oh, nice. Sample bottle, Dr. Kilmer's Swamp Root Kidney Cure. Binghamton, Kentucky. Never dug a sample size. That's actually pretty cool. I bet you these are less common than the large size, but still probably pretty common because of how big a company it is. Very neat. We're gonna keep on going. I got a few more things down there. Well guys, I got too excited. Check this out. Skeleton key. And this is gonna clean up awesome. Always love the relics you can find in these privies. We'll keep on going. Whatever we got, it's got embossing, but this damn sand is not letting me get even close to seeing what it is. It feels like a beer or a soda bottle. some of it exposed I'll get back to you when we have more of it out well here she is Godfrey Brewing Chicago and it's filled with I think lard <coughs> it's got a very crude almost melt bubble in, in it too so it's even still got the lightning stopper and everything in it Oh, it's gross. I do not want to almost even open this right now. So, circle slug plate. It's still pretty cool. Blob top beer. There we go, boys and girls. Hutch in the hole. Very narrow pit. I wasn't sure if it was anything, really. Not even sure what this one is. But we'll see. I'm assuming it's going to be Hammond. Well, it's not mug based, so let's see. Oh, nice. Chicago. Very cool. See if we find any more. Quote the Chicago bottle digger here on a construction site with a myriad of others. We may have potentially a Hutchinson soda bottle. Let's see what we have together. Is it whole? Is it not? We shall see. She's in there pretty good. We're gonna give the fans what they want and what they need. Okay, I'll get it to you when we're, when we're closer to pull her out. She's ready to be pulled. Wow. Chicago Hutchinson soda bottle. The first out of this dump. 
I'll take it. I'll take it. Even if I have it. Beautiful. All right, we got one pulled. Another Chicago druggist. There we go. We'll be back when we pull the other one. We just pulled another one, and it's the same bottle, just different size right on top of it. Unbelievable. You guys stay tuned for some more great footage. Yeah! All right, guys, here's the full wrap up. It's a pretty good day digging. Um, Chicago construction site. Um, we think that this dump was actually salvaged by rag pickers and other people that would salvage metal, other larger bottles that had returns on them because they're very, very scarce when it came to beer bottles, Hutchinson soda bottles or anything. But without further ado, here are some of the bottles we found. The one and only Hutch, Chaz Wester Coleman Cole, Chicago, Illinois, roughly 1890s. Um, these are actually pretty cool. Two sample P. Schoenfeld Chicago bottles. And I would name this dump the druggist dump because between me and my brother, we dug probably over 30 embossed druggists. Unfortunately, I did not get to get some of his photos of his. I'll get them later. But here are some of the names of them. Forestinglings Pharmacy, 398 Well Street, Corn Division, Chicago. There's three different bottles right there. I think he dug two of them as well. Jules M. Zint Druggist, Chicago. Freeman's Pharmacy. Clark and Sheffield, Chicago. C.M. Wember, Apothecary, Chicago. This one's kind of cool. N.P. Williams and Mills. P. N.P. Williams and Mill. Happens in Illinois. Tops knocked off, unfortunately. Um, Jeffy Vogt. Then we even got a Schollerbeck and Floss Manufacturing Chemist, Portland, Maine. And then a Columbus, Ohio druggist. I didn't get, uh, somebody's sorry for not getting a lot of these on recording, but this bottle is from the Hatton Pharmacy. North High Street, Columbus, Ohio. So there are all the druggists. Local tooth powder. Dr. Yell Grains, une unequaled tooth powder, Chicago. Maybe I'm saying that right. Uh, sample stove polish. A bunch of different variations of bromo seltzers and even one bromo caffeine. That was kind of neat, never dug those. Amber cone, cone ink. I actually think I dug this one. That was, I think this one was actually out of a privy I dug. Uh, it's machined. Everything else is hand tooled. Another ink, a few pipe bowls. Um, and here's some of the other stuff. I don't know if I recorded this, but some other druggist bottles. These were dug a few days ago, same site. So, Cologne, Dr. Farney's, uh, Dr. King's New Discovery. So all in all, pretty darn good day. So, stay tuned. Well, boys and girls, this is what we call a big cluster down in this privy. And you will see what we pull. Hopefully it's something good. Stay tuned. Damn it, Ohio. You never know what you're gonna find in a pit. It's like concrete, they're stuck together. We got some really cool bottles. So, give me a minute and we'll, sh we'll show you when we pull them. Oh, shit. It's actually kind of cool. It's kind of 
It's got another one in the hole. Let's see what she is. Oh, and then right next to it's a fucking crown. Crown? Yep. G. Wagner, Toledo, Ohio. them teeth. God, that's fucking creepy. Oh, we got something else here. I'm not sure what this is. Looks like a jar. We'll get it when we pull it. Got this out of the hole. It's a Pushek Medical Insti Institute, Chicago. So, what do we got down there? Wild cherry phosphate. Thompson Foes Co. Chicago. Wow. Actually, very cool bottle. Very cool. All right, turn it off. Well, here's everything out of this outhouse. Very shallow one. Nothing really that great. So we're gonna try and uh, get a few more. I've got a few other probed out on the same lot. So we'll see what they are. And you'll see with the rest in this video. Stay tuned. Well, didn't find much in it, but one fruit, broken fruit jars, other random <coughs> stuff. It's almost like a trench pit. It was lined with railroad ties, very narrow. I think it was a two-seater. Found a bunch of seeds in it, so we know it was an outhouse, not just a trash pit. So, on to the next one. We got one more to dig today. Stay tuned.